Journal Record Managing Editor Adam Brooks joins us to discuss other stories making news and business this week. Adam, thanks for being with us. My pleasure. While the shakeout in Oklahoma's oil patch continues, what's the latest? New Source Energy Partners filed for Chapter 7 bankruptcy this week. They had a bunch of problems that snowballed, especially low commodity prices, and their credit was cut. They knew they were running out of money, so it's not a big surprise, but they filed Chapter 7, which means they plan to liquidate. Over in Hugo, there's a new development in the case of water violations. Tell us about that. Right. The international company Severn Trent that ran their water plant was found to be in violation of a few state regulations. Uh, the DEQ a couple months ago asked for a $3.12 million fine against the company. They negotiated. That fine has now been brought down to just under a million dollars, and it'll mostly go into a fund that helps uh, pay for rural water, rural water improvements. Well, a proposed new turnpike in eastern Oklahoma County continues to stoke controversy. Can you tell us why? The, trans the Turnpike Authority wants to build a new road out near Choctaw to connect I-40 and I-44, but folks out there who own land either don't want to sell it if it's been in their family for a while, or they just say they want to live somewhere rural, and having a road out there will, will ruin their quality of life. One group is warning of price increases if a proposed change in the state's liquor laws is approved. What can you tell us about that? Well, a lot of people are happy because the, the bill would allow cold beer sales in more places and get rid of low point beer, but it also changes the distribution system for liquor and wine. Right now, uh, liquor and wine has to be sold to all seven wholesalers in the state. This would give makers a chance to select one, two, whatever number they want, and some people say that will lessen competition and raise prices for restaurants and for consumers. And the leader of a nonprofit group is worried about a fundraising bill. Why? Well, there's a member of the legislature who wants to stop animal rights groups from fundraising in the state and spending it elsewhere. He says that the U.S. Humane Society did that after storms in May 2013. The Humane Society denies that. But the head of the Oklahoma Center for Nonprofits worries that if this bill passes later, it could be used to attack other specific groups and could put a chill on fundraising. And finally, Adam, what are you working on for next week? Well, we're going to take a look at what some of the executives from Chesapeake Energy who worked with Aubrey McClendon are up to now, a few years after he left the company and so soon after his death. All right, Adam Brooks with The Journal Record. Thank you for being with us. You're welcome.